Hello, hello there, Mikey. How's it going? I'm still just getting ready here, but may as well just start saying hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day, buddy. Can you hear me okay? How's the volume? I trust your judgment on volume. Can you hear the music? Is the music too loud? The bars look like it's a little bit too loud. Let's turn that down just a little bit. And let's pull this mic a little bit closer. There we go. That should be a bit better. Is that okay? The volume is good for you? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so we got these guys over here. Yeah, because I know sometimes I might be able to like get the volumes right on my end, but like if you open up like another app like YouTube or something, it'll just explode in volume, and it's like ah, my ears. That's good. That's good. 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 All right, so we're doing the giveaway. So I don't know how much painting I'm gonna get be getting done today, but you know we're gonna I'm gonna paint in the background. I'll figure some stuff out. The giveaway won't take too long. And these are way too bright. There we go. That's a little bit better. That's a lot better actually. And if I put that guy there, that's cool. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's see here. Haven't had my coffee yet. Kinda going off the wire. All right. I don't think I was around for this. What's the story with this giveaway? Mikey, I've been doing this all month long and you don't know the story about the giveaway? <laughs> um, it's for the March of the Dwarves. So I was doing a community event. I was uh, recommending people to, um, you know, do anything dwarfy. Use the hashtag March of the Dwarves. And with that, I then um, said at the end of the month, I was gonna try and do a giveaway. We are here at the end of the month and I am doing a giveaway. Hello, hey, Mellow Miniatures, nice to see you. We are online now, so let's see here. Do, 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 do. All right, so go in here. I knew you were painting dwarves, but I didn't know there's a giveaway. There was a giveaway. You're not dumb, how dare. Do not call yourself dumb. How dare. How dare. All right. Hello everyone, we're doing the giveaway! through all these here, finish models, da 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 da, that's a whip, ba 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 ba. Just going live look like yeah yeah I can do that in there okay cool might try to paint a double quick to add to your tally yeah I mean if you want to try man go for it everyone eh, people only get one ticket no, no one gets more than one ticket so just just as, so you know 
All right, so we got that, we've got that. Just keep posting everywhere. Posting, 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 posting. Uh, what do we got here? This is the Berserker Works Cave. Ah, that's right, the coven doesn't do that. Uh, da, da, da. Post and post and post and post and. And I don't think Malleus does. Yeah, I don't think Mal does. Uh, this valley. I know, I know Jeremy does. Where is it? Man. This is why, like, I never, like, change the rooms I'm in. Stream spam? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know what's going on. Oh, is that it? Streaming announced. There we go. That's where Jeremy's got it. Uh, oh, no, I just wanted to... Yeah, oh, yeah, if you want to add to the collection, I'm all about adding to the horde. I just wanted to, just in case anyone thought that... Because uh, otherwise, like, Bythron would have so many t tickets. Like, it would be almost impossible for anyone else to win. Oh, nope, that's not what I was supposed to do. Nope. That's not it. There we go. Haha, -ha. is this is this it? No, that's events and charities again. Land, my brain broken. Broken brain. Twitch links, that's what I need to go for here. Oh, what's this? Mike, the lime, don't... Darn it, the link's still there. <laughs> I was going to go and just get rid of that. Well, Mikey, you topped it off again. <laughs> yeah, they, they, I do know that they're still collecting, but I don't know when it... Ah, no. Awful. Um, what I was going to say is I don't know when the cutoff is on that, so I just wanted to make sure that I'm not getting people um blurb man words are hard where is this what am i doing let's see here mike dimes donated keep up the good oh let's see here i don't know yeah that one was for me oh well thank you mikey oh oh you didn't need to do that oh hello Lynn Mitches. how are you today it was. It was indeed. That was that was one directly for me. I I did think I had one down here. Do I still have it? No, I don't. Okay. My brain, man. Oh, hey, Thunderhead Studios, gonna be in lurking, lurk mode when uh, when doing the giveaway. That is okay, buddy. That is okay. Nice to see you. Um, channel. Do 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 do. Am I am I in the right am I in the right room this time? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Excellent. I'm gonna I'm gonna close this for now. So uh, discussion discussion. So we are gonna be doing the giveaway. So um, for those who are not familiar, um, what the prizes were were one miniature from Skibber's Monstrous Miniatures. Now I do have some on hand. You know I should grab what the actual giveaway prizes are. I'm gonna order you brand new ones, but. Let's see here. So, I got this guy, and of course his brother. And there he is. Wow. Alright. That two? Yeah, there All right, so the prizes for the giveaway return, reject Dorf. All right, so the prizes for the giveaway for having participated in the March of the Dwarves. So is uh, prize number one is going to be uh, two casts of these uh, lovely Dwarf Brothers. Uh, these come from Malleus Miniatures. 
Um, so he, he said that he was okay with uh, dwarves being sent out as a prize. Um, as he is the sculpt, and then the other. So, if anyone is not familiar with Skibber Miniatures, I love the sword. Like, okay, these <laughs> these minis. These are my two favorite dwarves of all time. Malleus sells them for ludicrously cheap. Um, I, I think that he is undercharging, to be frank. So, I I try to give all the support that I can for Malleus. But they bleed so much character to them. I, I love them so much. Like, they give me a very, like, Jim Henson kind of feel. Like, like they should be in, like, the Labyrinth or something. Uh, the other uh, prize is uh, a dwarf that is, I, th I think it's, like, nine euros or less. Um, from Skibber Miniatures. So Skibber Monstrous Miniatures, uh, Polish miniature maker. Lo like, the level of detail on his casts are ludicrous. Like, I, I cannot... I cannot express just how much, like, detail there is on that. Um, so, you know, don't... No, no one be, no one be intimidated if they uh, if they win a dwarf. Um, so, um, and in, in, in the meantime, I mean, I'm gonna still be here for three hours. I'm gonna be chatting with you guys. We're gonna go through the march. Uh, we're just gonna wait for a couple more people to come on in, and we're gonna celebrate all the people who participated in the march of the dwarves. It's been an extremely exciting uh, last month. Uh, the number of dwarves. I know I've painted quite a few dwarves. Um, I was trying to take photographs of this guy that I painted on stream, and my camera hates him. My Lule, nice to see you. The dwarf for everyone in the server. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I, I've probably... Uh, I've painted maybe... Maybe half as many dwarves that are in the server, or like a quarter. There's a lot of people in the server. If you look under your seat right now, you'll find a dwarf! <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I love that. <laughs> you get a dwarf! You get a dwarf! Everyone gets a dwarf! You're all getting a dwarf! I wonder what, like, the gift tax for dwarves are. Um, but... In the meantime, I'm going to go and open up my settings here because we're going to do a, a genuine march through everyone's wonderful, wonderful photos. Um, Thunderhead is going to feel like this is going to be a little reminiscent because he does something very similar at the end of all of his streams. Um, but I, I cannot say I am as cool as Thunderhead Studios, but we're gonna be doing something very similar here. And why is my screen so dark? I would like my brightness maximum, please, so I can see. People only love me for my storm report. Uh, no, okay, no. You are such a joy. <laughs> you are such a joy, so nay. Nay to that. I, I love your streams, man. I don't get to attend nearly as many of them as I'd like. All right, so. Got that here. The storm report is really fun. It's a really fun thing. Um, all right, so we're gonna just cut that out. Actually, wait. If I if I go in like that, yeah. Okay, cool. So I can. There we go. There we go. I'm far too tactitum def defeating and cynical to be a joy. <laughs> okay, you know, I'll, I'll give you that. You are a cynic. Um, let's see, so some of the wide photos, just making sure I'm not cutting anything off. Cool. So we want to make this as big as we can here. Bam. All right. Cool. So... I'm really excited about this because this, this is a month-long community project that's been we've been doing. 
Uh, so I just want to welcome my to stream. Let's talk a half hour about how you're wrong for enjoying this. It's an old joke, but I think the one that made me laugh the most is when you call when you said, "I have a face that's good for radio," and I was like, "A, because I haven't heard that joke in a very long time. Um, B, you have a remarkable voice, and, and C, you are you are." I, I think you could at least do cameos in, in shows, at, at minimum. You're, you're mu you have a face much better than for radio. Um, but all right, guys. So let's go through this. Is this is this big enough? Do I need to make it bigger? Do I need it to be larger? Hmm. If I if I go and I do that, does everyone get to see? It's an old joke, but it, it, it is. It's it's absolutely an old joke. I could sit in the background of the show and eat a burrito. <laughs> oh man, that sounds like the perfect roll. Let's not kid ourselves. All right, so yeah, maybe do I need to like, you know what? If I, if I make that larger, does that look a bit better? So I just want to make sure that we get, because like I said, this is, this is about all you guys. This is all about you guys today. This is not about me. I have a couple of posts in here, but this is this is for you folks. So th I think that's what makes me so excited about this here. Um, yeah, I need to do this a little smaller. Make the checkout just in cash. <laughs> All right. So we've been online for about 20 minutes or so. So let's uh, commence. So, um, and, and Mikey, yes, that is absolutely going to go towards a new mini. There is no way that that is not going to go to a new miniature. Um, all right, so at the very beginning, on March 4th, we got to see our first, oh my god, I smacked the camera, professional stream quality. Um, we get to see the very first dwarf. We get to see from Loki, um, who was honestly one of like the main uh, reasons to, to why this happened. Um, about a month or so ago, Loki had been gifted something like 200 dwarves uh, from Warhammer Fantasy from his brother. Make that mini an orc. I I actually so funny enough. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on on just uh, a little bit of. Here we go. I actually Mikey. I went and I just picked up a bunch of orcs. I got myself some. Uh, Mantic game orcs, and I am very excited about them. These are, this guy is cool looking. Try to get him as close as I can without it going blurry vision. Um, very excited about that dwarf. Uh, but yeah, you know it. It's gonna go towards or a bullywug. I could get. I could, I don't think I have any bullywug, so that would be a good purchase too. Um, but going on here, ba ba ba. We get to see the backside of the dwarf. We get to see he's got a, a big backpack. I believe Loki said that this was a 3D printed mini. It was one big fat solid piece and he had a lot of fun with it. Um, and his infamous candy beards. Uh, next up, we've got, and I believe this is an actual squat from Wolf Parable. Um, Wolf Parable had purchased a great deal of uh, old squat miniatures online on ebay and i believe that this may have been one of them and man his his glasses are too cool let's let's see if i can uh, open this up here i'm gonna i'm gonna add a second reference here let's see do i gotta i got i gotta do it as a browser don't i hiya all right um, no, that is not what we're gonna do. We're gonna, oh, this, this one's a browser. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna cancel that one. Hello, Warlander from Warlandia. We, you have come just in time for the beginning of the march. 
So right now, I am just gonna go through here. This is, what? No, that's not what I want. I gotta get rid of that. No, that is not what we want. Okay. Gonna do, 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 do window capture. I'm gonna add a new source. The march. Wouldn't miss this for the world? Oh man, I'm so excited. That makes me really happy. Uh, let's see here. Chrome. What's that? It should be like CDN. Just no. Uh, da, da, da. Google? Google Chrome? Is this? Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. Okay. going to gonna have to shrink this way down way down way down come on so because I get to do that there we go look how cool this guy is and this is a tiny dwarf I love this Wolf Parable has been a member of the community for quite a while, pretty early on, and I just, I love the pink shades with the reflection. Like, this guy is too cool for school, um, but stay in school, kids. All right, so next up, we've got here Mylu Lei. So these are the three dwarves that uh, she had painted up. Uh, she got herself here a... Um, a what was it? A fine cast model um, of a dwarf uh, killing a vampire, vampire hunter. We've got a whiz kids dwarf, and we've got ourselves a skibber miniature dwarf. And they all turned out remarkable. We will see those as we go on. Now, these two little fellows, I absolutely love these. These ones came in from... Um, do 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 come on ah do i gotta do it like this these came in from our good friend valley dweller so jeremy valley dweller uh he is been doing march of the robots alongside with march of the dwarves and so he double dipped and he went and he did a robot dwarf and i love it um, our friend Spiky Kina had plans for starting a needle felt dwarf. Oh, let's see, here we go. I love them. His robots are so cool looking. Um, so Spiky Kina here with her uh, needle felted dwarf work in progress. Um, I don't know if she continued on with it. You can see that there were plans for some chain mail. Um, I have not seen too many like bipedal um, and needle felt creations. I'm in chat, but stream doesn't load. Uh, you could try refreshing um, a limiters. Here we go. Hello there, Raven Art Minis. How are you today? All right, so make sure that I'm in the multi stream there. Nice to see you there, Raven Art. So, yeah, we're just going through the march, the march of the dwarves. Here we can see Mellow Miniatures and his old uh, Warhammer Fantasy minis here. Here we go. So, you can see there's definitely a lot of uh, details that went in on. I'm good. Uh, I'm on YouTube. That actually works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube typically works pretty well for the actual loading. I don't know what it is. Um, YouTube's just a lot more reliable um, for my stream. Probably because I did not accept the affiliate. How am I? I am doing good. All the dwarves all the dwarves all the time so we're gonna hide that there so here we can see up close uh the two miniatures i was showing earlier so one of the prizes for the um the contest or not the contest the the raffle 
uh, for participation is going to be a sculpt, an unpainted cast of these two dwarves uh, provided from Malleus Miniatures. Uh, so I will reach out to you guys and try to get your shipping address at the end of that. Here we see a drawing done from um, Loki showing that uh, humans versus dwarves, the dwarf is obviously cooler. And here we have a illustration, an illustration from um, Falco Nian with a march of the dwarves, an actual march of marching dwarves. Uh, she had said that the march of the dwarves, they were marching against uh, racial stereotypes. So here we can see there are dwarves of all sorts. We see dwarves in dresses. We see dwarves in cat onesies. We see shirtless dwarves with, um, what is it called? An undercut. All sorts of dwarves. It's super fun. I love it. I love it. It is all in the spirit of the March of the Dwarves. Uh, so here we can see there is uh, Mellow Miniatures Dwarves again. We get to see them uh, with now with scenery and cannons. Get to see some old uh, dwarves, which is really fun to see. Uh, we're going to see lots of old uh, Warhammer Fantasy Dwarves as we go on here. I love the Cat Onesie Dwarf. You know what? I feel like we should look at the, one, the Cat Onesie Dwarf just one more time. Just gonna get in there. I love that onesie. That onesie is beautiful. All right. And here, this one, I I cannot uh, spend enough time praising this one. Uh, this comes from my friend uh, Mia Mercury, um, friend I met through Twitter, and she did her first dwarf. Uh, portrait she does a lot of great portraits uh, if you ever want to go check out her stuff i do encourage uh checking it out it is mia mercury oh man is it mia mercury art let's see here i believe yes yes it is so please 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 when you guys get the chance Go give Mia a follow on her Instagram. This goes for everybody else. I do not know everyone's Instagrams, but I do know Mia's. And she does some killer portraits, but that is not a dwarf. <laughs> so, we will go back to the dwarves. But I just wanted to give a good shout out for my friend there. Now, Clavicus did a collection of Reaper mini dwarves. And I cannot express just how good all of these... Hi, Ganon! Are you a dwarf? Yeah! Um, how good all of these dwarves are. We're just going to go in and we're going to open them all up in tabs here. And we're going to appreciate these properly. Yes, Ganon! I know. You are just so friendly right now. Um, here take off my gloves. Hi! Are you wanting screen time, Ganon? Is that what you're saying? Do I have to halt everything for you? He doesn't know what he wants. Okay. So, um, here we can see a dwarf with a big, long stick. And he's clearly gonna go and clobber someone. We, got, we see a bunch of uh, lovely... Um, base work we get and see some shrubberies there and he's he's got a very yeah just come on up come on up okay fine fine you, you will get you will get some screen time i can't big stick <laughs> exactly right here we go hello ganon all right i will i will show everyone your majesty ganon yeah yeah Everyone gets a little bit of Ganon time. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. Okay. Is that enough? No? Yeah. Marr. All right. 
<laughs> so back to that. We have to give we have to give our Lord and Savior Ganon his proper attention. So going forward, here we can see we've got another dwarf. He looks like a, maybe a cleric. He's got this cool like anvil on the end of his staff. That is just wicked. You know, we can see just wonderful use of colors. You've got this teal aqua marine color um, and these magenta on, on the verge of pink um, under robes. It's just very cool use of colors. Like I would never consider this color palette um, as, as something that would even come to mind. So it just Clavicus blows me away every single time. And here we can see just a classic dwarf barbarian, just ripped and shredded. Got this wonderful woodwork that he's got on the inside there, just with the grains. A nice big square base. Again, nice and decorated. We've got some non-metallic metal usage there. And this one, the way of how bleak and grayscale this is but at the same time it is colored we can see that these are actually greens that are being used we've got a little bit of red obviously the durgar gray skin gray beard gray base but this is this is really cool looking all right next up we've got more clavicus <laughs> <laughs> so he's got the same guy from a few angles. I'll just do from the main. Uh, uh, these deserve each a little bit of attention. So we're going to go over there. And next up is Warlander. Warlander, you're going to be up next. Look at his pudgy cheeks and how happy this guy looks. Um, I don't know if he is a dwarf wizard. He's definitely got a scepter or some kind of staff there. He painted so many dwarves. All of, the, all of them are just remarkable. And I, I remember I was talking with Clavicus, and I was like, "Like, hey man, like you're always doing like all these really cool Reaper events." And he's like, "Oh, don't worry, dwarves are coming up next." He was really excited about the dwarves, um, which is just like so great. Yeah, to battle. Um, am I not in? I'm not. Here we go. You guys didn't even get to see the stuff I was talking about, but that's all right. Um, we can see his lovely mount. It looks like it's a donkey. He's got some pouches, got some potion there, got a little thing in his hat. Like, ah, I love this so much. It's just, it's so, it's so rich of character. It's, it's very much akin to the dwarves that uh, Malleus um, had painted up, which is, I think, a big reason why I like this one so much. Um, next up here, uh, this is the latest photo, to my knowledge, that we have of the Dwarven Fortress from Warlander. Now, this is just so cool looking. So we have here individually cut bricks, um, which were all textured in a rock tumbler, uh, similar to a, how you would polish stones. Um, you know, and, and you, th and you probably throw. It is so cool. What and what's not shown in this here is that that tower is actually a dice tower. It's a dice tower. And there's like these cool uh, wooden doorways on the, the sides. Oh man, I got to see a little bit of Warlander doing this and it was just, it was so great. I I love the stuff that he, I cannot express how fun of a stream that Warlanders is. So please, 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 if you are not already subscribed or following uh, Warlander, please give it a consideration. It is, he is just, such a fun personality um him and uh thunderhead actually i should i, I don't think i gave Sh thunderhead a shout out and thunderhead is they're very akin to one another 
Um, one is a bit more family friendly than the other, <laughs> but they are very akin on that energy that like just like we are here and we are going to have fun. I am not the kindest. I, I am just an appreciator of great things. Um, next up here, though, and I, I'll i be honest, I think just because of the model and what the model is, this might be one of my favorites. <laughs> and it's just because the model itself is... It's so ridiculous and lovely. Like... A dwarf on an air inflatable like ring for the pool and he's just drinking this massive mug of beard I mean I say that this is my favorite largely because this is just one of my favorite dwarf models of all time <laughs> and I, I always look at it and I go I want to buy it but there's like these other things that I actually want to use for games and so that's always kept me from purchasing this dwarf um so and it, it, and my lule did such a remarkable job i i i love how it looks and my lule uh another um friend from twitter actually um so uh, you guys can find my lule using uh her twitter handle it's the exact same it's just my lule um so that's that there. Next up here, we have more stuff from Warlander. Now, he's got a lot of cool things in here. I don't know how many of these got painted, uh, if any. I, I know he was fo mo uh, mostly focusing on the fortress. We can see a little bit of kit bashing here going on. Um, Warlander, you're you're in the chat here. Do you want to give a little bit of a a history I, I, I we got we got a slayer here i know that's a slayer we've got this aircraft this and it's very clearly a pewter model um like these are some wicked dwarves and we got some dwarf scenery in the background here like what's going on what's what what is all of this i remember you said that these were like uh ones that you found from hello ganon hello um, these were from your collection there. Um, I'm going to move on to the next stuff, but you got some things there. You've got some updated photos tonight, but these are your original dwarves from your first Warhammer Fantasy Battle Army. Ah, that's so cool. It's so cool that you still have them. I love that. Uh, next up, we're not going to spend too much time on this. I've shared this one plenty enough. Uh, this is the... Uh, what is it? Iron Ancestor, I believe is what it's called. Um, this needs to stop moving. Am I able to do that? Yeah, there we go. That's that's perfect. So that's not going to move now. Um, so this is the Mantic Games Iron Ancestor. Uh, I tried really hard to like... <laughs> I'm, I, I had a lot of fun with this. I wanted it to look battle-worn. Whenever there's like vehicles, if there's something sizable, I really want to try and like scratch it up, like make it look like people have been shooting it at it. The, like it needs a new paint job every time that it comes out of battle. Um, that that's usually and, and you know what you can see it you can see it right here. Like these are obviously all the dwarves that I did, right? I painted a bunch of the dwarves in the stronghold. Final photo, you inspired me. That looks awesome. Well, thank you. Your, I do have your final photo in the in the end of here. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot of turnaround things. I tried really hard to see if I could get like a glowing hot red coil. I tried to make it white hot. Didn't quite turn out that way. But I don't mind this. It's not. It's not awful. It's not how I hoped it to turn out. But it it's okay. You know, it's a learning experience. You got to step out of your side of your comfort zone. Uh, next up here, we have some... Now, Bythron went above and beyond. We are going to see a massive collection of Bythron dwarves here. Uh, so these guys, I recognize these as Mantic Fantasy uh, Kings of War dwarves. Um, they've all kind of got this like similar beard to them. It's all very round very very perfect cut and, and it's got the classic um mantic base here 
Lucky Loki, sorry you're late. It's okay, man. It's all good. We are less than halfway through the march. Um, here we can see some of my stuff, but that's okay. Again, this is all for you guys. I'm, I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. I'm not going to focus much on here. We've got Valley Dweller again, making himself as a robot. Um, but as some of us have pointed out, he's kind of dwarfish. He's, he's kind of got short legs. <laughs> um, so I, that was, again, part of his March of the Robots. But he himself is kind of like a tall dwarf. So that's all good. Now, next up here... Um, do I have a way of being able to open it in my browser? Not really. Okay. So I'm going to turn that off for a second here. Oh, let's see here. Perfect. Come on. No, not that. That's not what I'm trying to do. That's not that. What's going on here? There we go. That's what I want. Perfect. So we're going to do that. And then, pa da! There we go. Um, so here we can see our good friend Goblin. Um, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, if that lost it. But you guys can see, hopefully, the rotating dwarf that he did, uh, Balder which is super cool looking. I hope you guys were able to see that. Yeah, it looks like you could. Beard, then it's a dwarf. <laughs> Calling me a dwarf? Uh, I got tested for the big C today because I've been dying on my couch all day. Uh, feels bad. Oof. Well, hopefully you're feeling okay. I hope, I hope it doesn't get too bad there, Loki. Um, but if... You know, if you're not doing well, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. Be, hopefully, be able to enjoy. Um, so here we can see, again, Goblin made a couple of changes here. Uh, these were videos, so I kind of want... I, I didn't really want to delete them there. So I tried to make it so that we all just get to see the final results of a lot of these things. Uh, but here we can see, speaking of Mr. Loki, as he is here, we've got ourselves... A naked dwarf it's another candy beard he's got this big orc skull beside him he's got this big fancy 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 weapon and he's got a got a little bit of a butt <laughs> I am always going to laugh at miniatures with butts um, Ganon you are okay Is he, though? It looks like his loincloth is just his beard. <laughs> so here we can see is more of the heroes here. I remember um, Loki was mentioning he wanted them to be. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not a mellow mini stream without a little bit of uh, butt. Now, here is some massive scale dwarves here i'm i'm gonna try and open these all up in new tabs here and make sure that uh we're looking at that yeah we're looking at that all right cool so this here this sheer madness so okay so these are the ones that warlander was talking about where he went and he touched up a bunch of them um there are so many dwarves here like there are so many dwarves it is so cool seeing all these i love this like this is talk about something this <laughs> warlander is insane i'm overwhelmed by 60. i don't know how many of these he painted for the event or how many he already had painted but i know that this is his original war hammer dwarf army if he wants to fill in the, the blanks on our details so welcome to and you can see the the dwarf flying machine in the back 
All right, so now we're going to go on to the next one. Here we can see Loki's collection of dwarves. So we're not going to look at the screen there, but nope, not looking at a screen, I said. So we can see just this massive collection of dwarves. I am slowish. They're slouching through the whole army. Yeah, there's a whole bunch here. And and like I said, like he's got Warhammer Fantasy Dwarves. These aren't Fire Slayers. These aren't um, you know, any of the others. Like these are these are classic Warhammer Fantasy. Good choice in mug. I love Iron Maiden myself personally. Big Iron Maiden fan. Um, and just it just keeps going on. It just it just keeps going. Oh, hey, he's got the same wet palette that I do. It's the Everlasting Palette from Red uh, Red Brush. The, the product is the Everlasting Palette. I know which one it is. I have it right beside me. Um, and here we go. There's another co photo of Warlander's collection. Just massive. It was too hard to batch paint them, so it'll be one by one from here from now. I hear you. Batch painting kills my soul. I am not a batch painter ah and i love that warlander put on his logo there yes i love that that's a lovely touch to add to that all right and here we go um loki for some more dwarves gave us a little a scenery though he's got his uh his fortress that he was making out of uh what was it was it uh it wasn't just toothpicks it was matches and um I, I can't remember exactly but i know there's there's a there's a lot going on not popsicle sticks i want to say dremels but dremels isn't it Dremel, dremels something else dremels a, a brand name of um matches and bamboo skewers skewers thank you that's the word i was looking for thank you thank you thank you and here we can see goblin did a youtube video goblin did a youtube video for march of the dwarves like huge round of applause here let's watch it let's let's watch it together he did it we've got, we're here for a few hours Let me let me turn off my music here. You know, actually, wait. I'll now it's way. no secret that I'm a big fan of dwarves. I love dwarves. I'm kind of a dwarf myself, not fully. I mean, I'm five foot two. I can't grow a good beard though. But yeah, I got these miniatures a while back. They're sculpted by miniatures of madness. And they were printed by the giant tower. No, there we go. Print quality, and I've been so excited to paint these for a long time. And at the moment, my friend over at Mellow Minis is doing March of the Dwarves, which is basically do something dwarf related for March. And so I thought, what a great opportunity to finally get something painted. Today, we're going to be focusing on Balder the Adventurer, one of my favorite from the collection. I love so, this video. How about we just crack on with it? The way that Goblin does his YouTube videos are just so enjoyable and artistic. So if you guys aren't already so following him, you to know that I'm almost running please out give him a follow. Of mummy robes now. But hey, I love mummy robes. And I hope you do too. Because as always, we're going to be using it quite a lot. Like, there's a lot of transitions, but none of them feel cheesy. It's just, I it's... I love this dark iron dry brushing technique. Great. I've used it on a lot of things, notably on my Varug Ghoul Chewer. I thought it looked really great on there. I want to try and have that same effect going with this helmet. <laughs> yeah, it got the army painter fans up. The color scheme that I've chosen for this model is muted, earthy sort of colors. I want it to feel like an old 
adventure explorery, Indiana Jonesy kind of thing. So, you know, natural materials like hemp and canvas, all of that stuff. But I also want to give it a sort of dirty look as well. So we're going to be putting a wash on, not only to bring out the details, but also to yellow the colours up a little bit. Like he's been working all night and day, exploring the caverns and collecting gold. For his beard, we're going to have to go with ginger. Personally, I love a ginger dwarf. Not past a dwarf. Well, I do love him. He's a great guy. But dwarfs with brown hair, blonde hair, or black <laughs> hair, they just don't do it for me. Grey hair is all right if they're like elder dwarfs and stuff. That's pretty cool. But the coolest dwarfs of all are the ones with the fiery beards. And yeah, I just love ginger dwarfs. In fact, I'd love to know what you guys think about ginger dwarves. Do you think they look better in ginger? Let me know. Personally, I'm uh, I'm a ginger dwarf supporter. You'll, you'll see a lot of ginger dwarves, I do. Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, the classic, the classic. Now we're gonna add a bit of definition with some flesh wash and also we're going to muddy the skin up with it a little bit as well. Which is kind of ironic, as it's called a wash. And we're using it to anti-wash. I'm tired. But, yeah, after we've done this wash, we're going to do some highlights with Barbarian Flesh. And really bring out those dwarven muscles. I love how dirty his dwarf is. Like, it looks like he's been doing lots of manual labor. Something I really love about this model is the way that it tells a story. Miniatures of Madness did a fantastic job on this miniature and you should check out more of their stuff. They've got some amazing sculpts, truly amazing. They're definitely in my top three miniature creators out there. But there's so much character and depth to this one model. So hopefully I can tell that story with a decent... So there's a lot of smaller details left, so I'm going to try something new. Instead of showing the painting parts of them, I'm going to show you what paints I used and the result, just for a few of them. flesh wash on the rope. That's fascinating. So for the flame, I just did a base coat of Demike Yellow and then after that, a dry brush fade with Lava Orange. Once this was complete, I then moved on to doing the rubies in his bag. Yep, originally I was going to do rubies, 
but it didn't turn out something. very well. So instead, I turned them into gold with some metallic gold. But yeah, then I just cleaned up the model a little bit, and so we're ready to reveal it. Yeah, no, Goblin does some high quality stuff. Like, I, I love what he makes. That's fair. The rubies looked really good, but I think, you know, if your and confidence there isn't there... Go. Let me know them. what you think. Hopefully it wasn't too boring towards the end there. I mean, I Jewels felt are really it was a bit of a to challenge do. to edit this one, because there's so many little details that are also quite important, I feel. And I wanted to put them all in, but that would have got quite boring and tedious. So I've tried to balance it out the best I can. I'll have to have a think of new ways to edit in the future. But anyway, if you like this model, you can get 10% off by following my affiliate link in the description, or you can head on over to the Giant's Tower website and use the code GOBLIN. Whenever someone purchases a miniature using my affiliate code, I get a little cut of the money, so you'd be helping me out if you did that. The Giant's Tower does have a great selection of miniatures, there's plenty in my wishlist, and their print quality is superb as well, so go check them out. Alright, hopefully you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time. Big round of applause for him. Big round of applause. Goblin did wonderful. Um, I think, yeah, it's that. Okay, perfect. All right, so back to here. All right, so. Now we've seen Gollum's video. Here we can see there is Snorri. Snorri with his, I believe it's the Russian alternative uh, models here for the Chaos Dwarves. It's a great video, great video. Um, so here we can see a top-down shot. Next up we can see up here now, these are super cool models. From what I understand, most of them are resin. Uh, so some people I do know get pretty intimidated by resin models. Um, but from what he's explained, based off what I heard, they were quite easy to put together. Um, you didn't really have any much of a challenge with them. Uh, you know, just got to make sure you use some super glue uh, and do a little bit of gap filling and you should be good. And here we come up with, and I don't know if she's already headed off, uh, but Milo Lay, if you are still here, here we have your Vampire Slayer Dwarf. Oh man, I'm in love with how this turned out here. Now there was a little bit of a tragedy with this. One of the table legs broke, but uh, really managed to turn it around and make it look like it's part of the, uh, the scene still. Uh, perfect, you're still here. Excellent. And I love how this glove turned out with using the red, the yellow, red to brown for the highlights. Like, oh man, this is such a cool model. You did a really good job of highlighting the black. Just, it's such a cool, it was so well executed. And I know there was a, a lot of anxiety with this model. Here we can see from another angle. Just too cool. Just too cool. It's a nice leathery feel. It really is. Like a fine suede leather. Uh, next up here, we've got more dwarves from Bythron. So here we have uh, what appears to be a dwarf riding a dragon. So go down here. Oh, come on, come on. Now, love myself a nice big model. 
We all know that I'm a sucker for large, large models. So, loving this. Definitely takes time to do them. And at the rate that Bythron was pumping out dwarves, it is absolutely astounding. Because there's not just that, there's also dwarf mounted on a bear. Four more mantic dwarves. Single dwarf. Back of single dwarf. Come on. So we've got our ranger dwarf here. Where is it? There we go. So, got a nice green cloak here. Got some quick and dirty leather work. You do biggies, I do smallies, and together we roll the world. <laughs> I love doing biggies. I love doing biggies. So we got our silver sort of mantic dwarves here. Got some neat shield designs going on here. I love the magic dwarves, but I will say, in terms of the sculpt, it, I do I do have a level of frustration on how almost like clone-like their heads are. Like all of their beards have the exact same shape to them. Everybody is super talented here. Like, all you guys, like, here we've got the dwarf riding the bear. We can see she's got an eye patch. We've got some, uh, got some, looks like maybe some heraldry. We've got some bear claws, a rune. Is that her helmet on there? I do not know who does this model. I don't know if this one's a mantic one or not. It's a very cool looking model though. Actually, you know what? I think looking at that base, that might be a uh, Horde's model. Ganon, Ganon, kitties, no. You guys gotta wait. Um, so here next up we have Milo Lay's third dwarf and final dwarf, her dwarf necromancer. Now, this is a whiz kids dwarf wizard or sorcerer, but she made it a necromancer, and I just, I love that idea. Like, I'm used to only hearing the words dwarf and necromancer in the same sentence when it's like, the necromancer killed the dwarf, or the dwarf killed the necromancer. I, you never hear about the dwarvish necromancer. I, I, I greatly greatly admire that and here we have bythron again with more dwarves this these ones i believe come from the lord of the rings series uh, bythron had a lot of dwarves so here we can see <laughs> we can see bythron's numbering them too i don't I don't know the in, the purpose behind the numbers, but I know that they're numbered. But you're gonna see just lots of dwarves here, um, you know, just for pumping out as many dwarves as Bythron is. I I feel like Bythron must be a dwarf. Like Bythron easily has made one to two armies for Bythron's game of choice. Like, look at all of these. These are great. Got some dwarf archers. These ones I do know come from the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Got it So we can see that there. You can see uh, what looks like Bythron's next target in the back end yeah no he he really just cranked them out uh, next up we got the turret that i was working on so i had a lot of fun with this one mostly with making it dirty and mucky um yeah clearly this is something actively on the uh 
the, the battlefield. And I will say, and, and I appreciate this, because Mantic did eventually start making more unique dwarf heads. Because to my knowledge of the sci-fi Forge Fathers, this is the only dwarf that has that kind of beard. So you, you don't end up seeing that beard over and over again anymore. Um, more Lord of the Rings dwarves from Bythron. These ones are the Khazad Doom dwarves. Um, I like how they all have cloaks. Like these guys look like they are they they live somewhere cold. Like they are trying to keep warm. And then we've got Loki here. Loki having prepped up some dwarves, getting ready for ale pearl. <laughs> no, okay, I'm gonna kick you out. You're gonna have to leave the room. Yeah, yep. You you were I I'm trying to I'm trying to celebrate people, Ganon, and you were you are taking the show. Come on. Out you get, out you get. Come on. the march i will go feed my kitties and then from there we will do the draw you painted them up yesterday here we have more bythron lord of the rings dwarves and a collection of all of bythron's lord of the rings dwarves these are not all the dwarves that Bythron did for the month. These are all of the dwarves Bythron did for Lord of the Rings in the month. <laughs> I'm just flabbergasted. How many is this? So we've got, uh, there go three rows and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight by three, that's 24. And then 25, 26, 27. So 27 lord of the rings dwarves but where's gimli i don't know i don't know where gimli is and here we are coming up to the very end here um i know that these posts were made today um so here we have some loki dwarves fighting against chaos uh clearly their fortress is being stormed We've got some Nurgle demons coming in. No, not elf hunting, because Gimli is the friend of the elves. He's canonically known as the friend of the elves. So, nay. <laughs> I am not a Lord of the Rings fan, but I do know that. All right, and we've got more of the dwarves, the fortress. I really okay. So these are, these aren't dwarfs, but I do love yeah the bases. I do love the bases um, of those Nurgle demons. Was that green stuff that you did? I'm very curious about that. Yeah, they're besties for resties. Okay. All right. Uh, I got. Dwarves, fighting more demons, hand sculpted 50 of them in milliput. At least it was milliput and not green stuff. That would have killed me. Next up, we've got this here. Took longer than the models. I believe it. Ah, this is really cool. Uh, and here we can see some of the Nurgle demons got into the fortress. And we've got a Linmachis's dwarf. We've got this really cool gold armor guy. I know that there's a name for this faction in Age of Sigmar. I do not know it. Do not hold it up against me here. Here we can see that the head is magnetized, so you can swap out the head. You finished the last one just in time. <laughs> 
most excellent. Wonderfully done. I especially love that there's like a little bit of purple in here. Where is he? Where is he? Here we go. So we can see he's got a little bit of purple. And I just, I, I think it ties so well. So it's not just gold. Excellent. Mikey. Mikey has posted a beautiful portrait of a dwarf. Beard and all. Totally counts. Uh, there's a story where the Glotkin turns the lava flow inside the fire slayer's hold into pus and secretions. Ugh. And it's seven by seven, and thousands of plague bearers spawned and took the castle from the inside. Most excellent. Mikey, are you wanting in the raffle? Do you want yourselves a dwarf miniature? Definitely a self-portrait. <laughs> the Caradron Overlords. Thank you, thank you. Gold sniffing dwarves. Most excellent. I love how all these photos take place on a Monopoly board. I don't say that sarcastically. I, I genuinely enjoy it. All right, so next up here, there is a couple others that we do need to take a look at still. So I'm going to click on here, bah, 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 and we're going to go and look at, where is it? Here we go, March of the Dwarves. So there were a few people who didn't are not posting inside the um, Hudad in the Discord server, so we're just going to go over their dwarves here. So here we can see uh, Scotch and Hobbies actually joined in. And did he do this one? He did this one 11 hours ago. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I love that. This looks so cool. You can see he's got the lava glow on the bottom there. Oh man, Scotch and Hobbies nailed it. This looks great. So that's what this was for. I knew that he was doing this. And we've got a single dwarf here, again from Scotch and Hobbies. Oh yeah, no, th these are great. I've got my turret dude, my tank dude. Uh, here we go from Dauber, Daub, the Dauber Goblin. Uh, Dauber Goblin was also very on board with this uh, here. Scotch is very fun to hang out with. Scotch is very fun. Um, and holy heck, I'm just seeing this now. Can I zoom in? Ah, uh, no, because Instagram doesn't like that. Um, I don't know if you guys can see here, but there is a miraculous job of that was done on the back leather. Like th there was a texture, like they 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 very. I don't know how they did that. They made it look like treated leather. That's really good, and that's very hard to do. That is absolutely killer. Um. And here we got more Mellow Mini Dwarves. We, we don't care about those, though. Uh, Geeky Taniki D&D fan. Uh, Geeky Taniki went and did a model that was uh, from Reaper. I, I believe she's supposed to be a dwarf goddess. Um, very fun. And you can see Goblin posting his uh, work in progress. And the Dauber Goblin. Lots of goblins. Lots of goblins appreciating dwarves. It's magical. So we can see here she is a blacksmith. Uh, having some fun. And Nick Harling had also joined in. Lovely dwarf. Lovely dwarf. Uh, don't care about this big tin can. Um, Geeky Taniki again. This was the work in progress. Uh, almost having been completed. And we can see the work in progress of 
um, Dobber Goblins there. And Art of Nightingale. Art of Nightingale, I had thought had posted this inside of the Discord server, but I do know that this was um, done uh, or shared within the Twitch as well, but I, they go by a different name in Twitch. Uh, so I, I don't think they're double submitted, but I, I, I cannot remember. My memory, not so great. Uh, here we can say PG or PJ Paint Minis uh, did a cool biker dwarf. Really like this. I have no idea where this model comes from. Apparently, it comes from Stonehaven Miniatures. Oh, I know who Stonehaven Miniatures is. They have seriously cool minis, like a honeybee gnome druid. It is so cool cannot express if you have not uh already collected a couple stonehaven miniatures i totally recommend checking them out um we got the dwarf brothers the dwarf brothers uh here we've got uh inch inch sky i want the link for that um i do know that they do separate um some of their minis based on on uh race so you can go and search up just for dwarves um, but yes, Inch Sky's Giant Slayer. Very cool looking. And here we got Art of Nightingale's Dwarf again. A lovely dwarf. He's got these big stone gauntlet punchy things. Love it very much. Um, and Dauber Goblin had another dwarf. This, in is, this one, if I recall correctly, is a Skibber miniature. Um, lo looking at the shield design, it's very reminiscent of skipper miniatures um so uh dwarves like this um if if anyone wins the raffle for the skipper miniature you guys get to pick which dwarf it is as long as it costs under a certain amount and march of the dwarves the song 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 excellent and i believe um, I was taking a look around, make sure I haven't forgotten anyone. If we go into Twitter here and we go, what is it? It's, uh, nah. We go March of the Dwarves. Uh, Mellow Minis, we got Mylule, we've got Mia, I've got myself, we got Mia, myself, myself. And people talking about the song. Perfect. There's a song? Yes, you most certainly know what that song is. You have heard it in Christmas movies. Uh, it's from Edward Grieg. This, I guess this is going to get it muted, but whatever. All of you know the song. I, I, I assure you, no one does not know the song. It, it's, it's not a song that you sing. Swing, swing, swing. So yeah, it starts off like this. It starts off pretty chill. It's from the same guy who did King of the... Oh, no, I'm thinking uh, Hall of... Hall of the Mountain King? Is, is the same guy. Let's see here. In the Hall of the Mountain King. Let's see here. So yeah, there's this. It's from the same guy who did this song.
Yeah. These are from the same person. Apparently he had a thing for dwarves. Dun 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 like yeah they are both same same person so it you may just not recognize um the march of the dwarfs is all I'm amazed someone made a song for March of the Dwarves. <laughs> You're a rascal, you know that? <laughs> All right. So, um, let's see here. We are... You know what? It's only going to take me one moment to do this here. So, we've got... 19... We've got 19 people. So I'm going to, no wait, we have 20. Because Mikey, Mikey, you entered, you entered Mikey. Mike to Lime. And if you win it and you don't want to paint it, you could always give it to Steven. Steven Brady. All right, guys, so. Pull this up here. The Alton Towers themes for the Brits theme park, Nerds Among Us. All right. <clears throat> so we don't care about any of this stuff. This is what we're looking at. Exactly, drum roll. All right. Also, it works really out, out really well for me if Mikey participates in this because A, he's my mod. B, um, it, it means I can just roll a d20. So here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. And that is a 10. Who is number 10? Geeky Taniki D&D fan! I guess I should have announced what the prize was first. I was going to announce that it was going to be the uh, brothers. So Geeky Taniki won. So we're going to put in here. Or perhaps I should give her the option to choose. Uh, we'll we'll give her the option to choose. I think that makes more sense. So big, big congratulations for Kiki Taniki. So yeah, we'll give her the option to choose because I didn't announce explicitly what it was going to be ahead of time. And then, so the second winner, she's not here. She gets <laughs> she, nonetheless. Yeah, big congrats. Big, yeah. Talking's hard. Big congratulations to Geek Niki. And the second place prize will go to... Who is number 18? Mellow Miniatures! Mellow Miniatures? Big congratulations, Mellow Miniatures is here. So, Mellow... The prize that Geeky Taniki uh, does not end up uh, going for um, is the one that you are going to win. So you will win either uh, a sculpt of these Malleus miniature models, or you will win a Skibber miniatures model. You're not on the list? No, I know that you're on the list. I put you on there earlier. Son of a gun, you're not on the list. Okay, I have to re redo the roll then. That's fine. I have to redo the roll. Elimages. You you effed up. I did. Elimages. All right. No, nope, that's fine. That's okay. So, easy enough. I have a D24. <laughs> Crit fail. 
So, let me... <laughs> your crit fail. So, we've got Loki, we've got Outsider, we've got Valley Dweller. Um, Outsider did a stream for his, so that is why I don't have an image there. We've got Valley Dweller, Mia, Goblin, My Lule, Scotch and Hobbies, uh, PJ Paints, Dalbert Goblin, Geeky Taniki. Let's see here, so I'll go and I'll do no fill. So we have to do it all over again. That is all right, that happens. Um, Nick Harling, Arvin Angale, um, who was this one? This one was, ah, Inch Sky. In Sky, yes, it did the uh, Slayer. Uh, Wolf Parable, Warlander, Falco Chan, uh, Snorri, Mellow Miniatures, Clavicus, Mike the Lime, and Alimiches. No, 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 no. You were part of the raffle. So, gonna reroll. That is okay. That happens. I messed up, and so it only makes sense that we uh, make sure everyone has an equal opportunity. So, it's just all the more excitement again. So we've got number nine. Number nine is Dauber Goblin. So we've got Dauber Goblin here. And next up, 19. 19 is Clavicus. All right. So, because if not all the ent entries are in, then it's not fair. So big congratulations to Dauber Goblin and Clavicus. And I'm going to uh, follow up and message with them there. And if anyone has never seen one of these, this is a D24. Has anyone here seen D24s before? I've got a collection of weird dice, including a D30. But that being said, done and done there, I'm gonna follow up with uh, people, I'm gonna message them, and what I'm also going to... You laughed so hard that I was prepared with that dice. You saw it was on here. You saw it was on, on the table. I uh, was absolutely prepared with that because I was anticipating needing to roll those and if I got like 23 or 24, I would just re-roll. It's gonna call cheats if it's a loaded dice. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go feed my cats so they stop screaming um, and giving everyone a hard time. So I will be right back, folks.
All right, I am back, everybody. So I'm just gonna close that. Don't need that no more. And so those who have won have been messaged by me. So um, yeah, imagine Mellow with a dead bird and a donut on it. I'm sorry, what? All right. <laughs> Okay. Let's see here. What am I? What? I, there's a bit of a. What, is, what about April? Are we painting mecha rabbits? Mecha rabbits would be very cool. <clears throat> Hold up. Mecha rabbits? I'm in. Anarchril? Whole month of chaos? April? Um, I'm going to hate on my ideas. I won't share that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I meant. Uh, Fabril. Month of Fabulous. Fabril sounds terrible. Um, I am not going to do Fabril. <laughs> um, that just sounds like something else. Uh, March and or October just have a better ring to them. Um... April, April, April uh, that's where you eat ravioli for the whole month of April. <laughs> uh, Warlander, I would get sick even more than I am now. In Canadian Lerpa, cats eat mellow. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, jeez, guys. Uh, yes, so uh, in terms of... Um, the thematic months yeah i'm i'm only going to be tackling uh march and april or, or not march and april march and october uh because a couple of reasons one is i do want to do a giveaway for every one of those uh streams that i do the or like those thematic ones and the other reason is because um I, I want to paint the things I want to paint sometimes. And and like when I, I do these themes, I'm going to go in all in, right? Um, so, like I have been painting outside of dwarves, outside of stream, but I want to make sure that I can do, um, you know, like just other fun things. There are certain miniature companies that I want to really showcase um i mean i don't think skibber is unknown to anybody uh but i do want to paint these on stream um mind you these are dwarves shocking um but like i do have a couple other things that i do want to handle um ganon would feed me i would love it if ganon would feed me But yeah, I I really hold um, strong feelings of wanting to showcase other miniature companies. Um, you know, show things to people that are more than say Games Workshop. Um, they Games Workshop has great models. They have incredible models. I have been absolutely in love with some of the things I've been painting. Um, but I really want to showcase other things. Uh, so, for example, um, I won a charity raffle, and with it, I'm going to be getting uh, Titan Forge minis. And I would love to show show those guys to you. So you know. Um, but with that being said, I've only got an hour left on stream. I really, I'm kind of limited on the number of things I can do. I might just work on this turret. Um, I was going to start painting one of these dwarves, uh, but I think I'm going to have to hold off on that. And, uh, yeah. Which is okay. But tell me about what you guys are doing. What are, What is up with all of you lovely folks? What are you guys doing?
You can sing us a song of mead and adventure. I can't sing. <laughs> as much as I love the ex the idea of how fun that might be, I can't sing. You don't want to hear me sing. Um, the closest I get to singing is the kind of stuff that people, t the average person does not enjoy. Um, not a lot of people like metal screaming. And that's the closest that you're going to get from me. I used to practice doing uh, stuff for like death metal and hardcore pretty often. I'm cheating and painting orcs early. I really want to do Orctober. I really, really want to do Orctober, and I want to see if um, I can plan ahead of time a little bit better and see if I can get, like, some company involvement, maybe see if I can get, like, a discount code for people. See if maybe, like, I'm willing to showcase uh, a lot of people's um, orc models, you know, um, I, I like the Mantic Orcs. I'm in the works of getting some Cromlech Orcs. Um, I really want to get some Artel W Orcs. Um, they have some of the coolest Orc models, and it's really unfortunate. They deal with a lot of... Uh, they get targeted by recasters pretty often, um, which is terrible. Um, recasting is a whole subject all on its own um, but small companies do not deserve that that is that is my thing like like companies like G gw can survive and maintain um you know recasters but some of those smaller guys creature caster or tell w when they get recast it, it hurts them real hard And like I'm talking about like models that are still in production, not like not things that are out of production. Yeah, October would be really fun. I I would love it. I've been assembling orcs. These these mantic orcs are so so cool. <clears throat> oh, it does not like that. Let me let me take that off screen here. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put that on manual so it stays like that, and then I'm going to show you guys this. This is really cool. Look at this orc and just how much detail he's got. It it absolutely blows me away. Like this guy is going to be so fun to paint, like. So I, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of gap filling in the arms. That, you know, that's unfortunate, but that happens. It, it's nothing to cry about. Um, but the detail on this orc, like, Mantic is unreal, guys. Mantic is unreal. But yeah, if, if any of you guys have um, an Instagram, um, if you guys could give me a follow, if you're not already, it would actually help me a lot in when I go to contact uh, miniature companies, just so that they know that, you know, I'm, I'm taking this a little bit seriously. If, if I have higher, no like, they look at numbers. Really, like, if, if I reach out and I make a proposition um, 
they're going to look at my numbers because they're going to ask like ask themselves is it worth their time sending you know basically discounting like if they it's a business right um so if you guys aren't already following me if you could give me a follow it would help a lot um and it'll make it easier for me to arrange cool things I don't know. I mean, it's all about taste. Um, I, I don't personally have anything, any issues with orcs that aren't like shredded like Schwarzenegger, but um, I, I get personal taste. Yeah, I got the, I got the start collecting Marauders um, box so i got that on amazon with a gift card it was marked up but i had the gift card and i was like well i mean i'm just gonna i'm just gonna suck it up and convince myself i'm just buying it for 30 dollars instead of what the actual price was mm, you know you know how it can be but yeah it's uh I, I, I'm ambitious. I have things I want to do. I, I have things that I want to see if I can achieve and basically just make the, the online painting community have more things to be able to partake in, enjoy, um, put third party you know, or smaller companies in the spotlight a little bit more often. I, I, I've got things. I've got things I want to handle. Or want to want to try and accomplish. So you guys, you get you guys help me make that possible. Um, without you, I literally cannot do any of those things. So, um, and you know, the bigger this channel gets, the more prizes I can do. It, it won't just be two prizes it will be larger right um, that's that's the kind of stuff I want to do I justify things to myself all the time to buy more miniatures with as little guilt as possible you're safe here <laughs> yeah I know what you mean there the old ones with the cleavers bows and axes I think you're thinking of like uh, the fantasy orcs. Um, I mean, I have over here. Um, I've got the Black Reach orcs. So make sure I'm not grabbing a knob. So, like artistically, these are different. These are different, right? Like. Um, so I've got a, oh, I've got it on that again, manual, here we go. Oh yeah, it's all good, it's all good. Um, I have, oh, the second edition orcs, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we have our mantic dwarf, or not dwarf, orc. And here we have an orc from Blackreach. So this is an assault on Blackreach orc. And you can see, yeah, the the Blackreach one is a bit beefier. But it's not like a, a massive difference. It's just that because he has no sleeves, you can really see it more. Like if we look at these guys. Like, the actual size difference isn't that much. This guy just has a shirt on. And because he's got more exposed skin, it looks like he's a lot bigger. Um, I know one company I might be able to 
get some level of interaction with. Um, crooked die maybe would be willing to partake. Crooked Dice has some really cool minis, too. I love their stuff. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's, like, no matter what my... what How I want my orcs to look like. I mean, they're not the orcs that I usually would go for, but I love their design. They're they're very like organized looking orcs, which you know some people might be. No, I want my orcs dumb, and it's like okay, well I mean that's fine, that that that's a way of having it. But you know, for example, if you want like blood axes, like the blood axes are a bit notorious for stealing the clothing and garbs and like uniforms of the imperial guard and wearing them. Those guys. Those Mantic Orcs would be perfect proxies for that. Perfect proxies. Um, which is why Cromlech has, like, the... What is it, The Orc Great Coats and the, uh, the Africa Corpse. Because uh, they're supposed to be blood axes, is what, is what they are. And whereas, like, Spell Crow made like a bunch of uh what do you call it um pirate orcs because they're supposed to be the free bootas oh no okay you go f take your nap um i hope you feel well get plenty of rest make sure you take care of yourself and if anything goes wrong make sure you have someone you know that you can phone to to pick you up and take you to the hospital or doctor if you need to make sure you take care of yourself loki it was lovely having you here thank you so much for all of your contribution for uh, march of the dwarves i hope you know that uh, you know this was this was largely made possible because of your participation in this community So you have yourself a wonderful night, and make sure you take care of yourself. And it's by no exaggeration. People who have been in the community for a while know that, you know, Loki was just producing orcs left, right, or not orcs, dwarves left, right, and center before uh, the march really began. Five minutes from the biggest hospital. Perfect. All right. Got it. Well, you take care of yourself, okay? And I'd just like to give a big thank you to the rest of you, too, for all of your participation in the March of the Dwarves. It has been so such a cool month getting to do this with you guys and i hope a lot of you got to enjoy the experience you know have a sense of community this is something that all of you guys did together which i i cannot stress enough how cool that is right I'm glad. I'm glad. Because I know I had a blast with you guys. 
even though near the end of it I was getting I was getting a little fatigued of my you know my short little friends um, it was it was a blast through and through I really look forward to Orktober. And I mean, it doesn't always have to be orcs during October. You know, maybe in the future there will be a Dwarftober. Dwarftoberfest. It just, it sounds fun. Right? We say it like that. But the March will always be a new, a new, uh, a new thing, you know, March of the Chaos, March of the Lizard Folk, March of the Elves, March of the Gnomes, March of the Goblins. We are going to keep this going, and we are going to have a huge blast for it. I do not know what the next March will be, but it will be fantastic no matter what we pick, because it's going to be with you guys. Aren't I just full of cheesiness? I know I'm full of cheesiness. You guys can tell me I'm, I'm cheesy. Cheesy as heck. Extra cheese. Gave you an upset stomach. One day. One day, Warlander. You and me, I mean, there's, there's no reason not to. And you know what? I can, if I have to, I can go up there. I can go up in the north. If I have to go north, you know, so be it. Well, then, then we'll just uh, we'll just wrangle JT and Bill in. Be like, look, us, we're playing games. <laughs> now I don't know how to play Warpath. I will I will be full disclosure, no idea how to play Warpath, but I do know how to play. One page rules, grim dark future. Which is what these are all for. But I mean, the models are for Warpath, and I'm sure I could do them for Warpath. No problem. It would be, exactly, it would be incredible. It would be really fun. I would. I know that I would have a, uh, a lot of fun with it. I, I talk with JT the least, but JT is a really cool guy. My schedule. I just. I'm not in the right place on the internet at the right time when uh, when JT is online. But I think he's in the Discord server too, though. Like I'm pretty sure he's in there. Actually, no, I know JT's in the Discord server. I saw him there just the other day. First taste of 40k last night. Safe to say you like how it plays. That's good. And yes, they are great people. They are absolutely great people. My only thing with 40k is I think I would have more fun if there were certain slight changes. Just slight ones. Like, for example, how many saves <laughs> models have. Some models have way too many saves. I can understand rolling to hit. I can understand rolling to wound. I can get that. And you know what? I can even understand armor saves. But then when you add on invulnerability saves, oh man, no, this is too much. It's fine, I concede. <laughs> I want the game to be exciting dice rolling, not not monotonous dice rolling. <laughs> I played uh, Tyranids. Tyranids is what I played about 10, no, more than 10, 
ooh, 11 or 12 years ago. Um, I, I That's what I played. I played uh, Tyranids back in 5th edition Warhammer 40k. And so a lot of the models that you end up seeing me getting from Chaos are models that were just being released or were already out back then that are not available anymore. Um, so like when you see me hunting down for things like soul grinders, it's because I remember playing in stores and seeing soul grinders on the shelves. Um, and so it's me capturing that nostalgia um, because I wanted to paint them back then. So th th there's a few old things that you end up seeing me go for. That's why. Um, back when I I was playing... See, it's so weird. I can say these things like, back when I was playing. Back when I was playing, Chaos was one army. Cha Chaos was a single army. And the only Nurgle stuff was the Nurgle Daemon Prince and Plague Marines. And Plague Marines were metal. <laughs> spam in a can um i seem to be good at ripping them apart uh but we only did the first turn each well that's exciting that's exciting see i read mellow miniatures what did you play and i read i read that as mellow minis my apologies my apologies because i've probably told you guys all about that i played nids as well um, what which models? So you're saying that you ripped them apart. It sounds like you were using gene stealers. If I had to guess, you were using gene stealers. Ah, correction, I misread that. I thought you were playing Tyrion, so you were playing Imperial Fists. Yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. Um, Tyranids do not do well against Space Marines. <laughs> they do not do well against Space Marines at all. Outriders to shred his brood lord. Yep. A pack of gene sealers pile on your Primaris Lieutenant. Yep, yep. Yeah, getting in... Uh, with with Tyranids, they're... Um, their very best units are typically actually the gene sealers for their rending. Like, you, you throw 8, 16 uh, gene sealers on somebody... Um, the gene stealers might not survive, but that thing that they were going after, man, it's done. <clears throat> Their rending is no joke. At least that's how it was back then. Um, but like all their other units, Termagants, kind of bad. Hormagants, really bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, <clears throat> uh, gene stealers will take out Terminators. At least that's how it used to be. Every, keep in mind, everything I say, I'm basing off of memory from 12 years ago. Um, but back then, like, if you were using Hormagons... The question was just why, because instead you would be better off in, uh, investing those points in gene stealers. Like you would get less gene stealers, but like the value of gene stealers on the field was 
superior in every way. And so, like, I got frustrated. I got frustrated because I bought Hormigons. Because I, I was like, well, get one of everything. And that that was, uh, that, that, that was a punishment, getting one of everything. Because <clears throat> when you got your Battle Force, it came with Hormigons, Termigons, Gene Stealers. Uh, I think one Carnifex. Yeah, it was... It is what it is. In the end of the day, it is what it is. It's okay. Um, it is a game. <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah, Gene Stealers, nasty. Always take out the Gene Stealers. Always, always, always take the Gene Stealers out. Because if they get within, like, com melee combat range, oh, oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, there are just certain units that you just don't want to deal with in combat. Well, I shot four Termagants from pretty much as far as possible. Uh, the list was designed. Oh, I can see that my music is still not playing. I never fixed it. There we go. Much better. Um, well, this was designed for long range combat as a new nids like up close stuff. The poor lieutenant had no real close range. Yep, exactly. Yep. Yeah, no, nids are not phenomenal at, at range. They do have some things, like they have one of the longest range. Well, used to. I don't know if this is true anymore. Uh, they used to have one of the longest range weapons with the Tyranno effects at like. 24 inches or something like that like it was it was insane it may have been longer than that um it's it spanned the reach of the table it is what i remember and like it was just devastating but it was a single attack so if you're in vulnerability save got it that's fine um, but it was just this massive massive attack that would just destroy HQs from across the table. But it was a massive point dump. A massive point dump. Like, it was like 500 points. Like, if you were playing a 500 point army, like, you weren't going to see a time of effects. The kids and I are off for an adventure. Have an amazing rest of the stream. It was an honor to be part of the par March of the Dwarves again. Amazing job on the Forge Fathers. Well, thank you so kindly there, uh, Warlander TV. It was lovely to have you. Um, thank you for joining. I, you know, I look forward to doing future things with you. Um, I know that you and Mango Smasher have something coming up soon, so that is going to be exciting. So I look forward to seeing you uh, work on stuff there. And then, uh, till then, have a lovely rest of the day. Uh, it was, and it was lovely having you part of the March of the Dwarves. Heck yes. Have a good one. And I have 
I've used up so much of this necromancer's cloak. I think it's like halfway. I, I cannot remember the last time I used a paint that much. I gotta say, it's gonna be real nice painting something that's not just dwarfs. <laughs> as fun as this has all been. Too many dwarves. You're going to head out early too? That's all good, Mellow Miniatures. You have yourself a wonderful rest of the day. And thank you for participating in March of the Dwarves.
quiet chat today. <clears throat> what are you guys all doing? We're we're all done with the raffle. I'm just gonna be painting up this turret, but uh you guys doing anything exciting? What is going on in your guys' lives? Painting anything cool? Anyone get their vaccine? What what's hanging? What's loose? Had to step away for a bit. Things are going well, Mikey. Things are going well. People are going to bed. People are, you know, going off and hanging out with their kids. I think it is a great day. We did a raffle. I mucked up. Had to re-raffle. You know. As you would expect for your first raffle. Didn't get it right the first time. Whoops. Hope I didn't cause too much embarrassment for people. Or feelings of disappointment. Oh yeah, I got it all sorted out. I mean, 
There's only so much that can be done. I'm just one person too, right? So, and I didn't ask anyone for, you know, money for raffle tickets or anything. So the the investment was just time and painting your own miniatures. So, I don't expect there was too much lashback. I hope. And I for your lovely tip, I. Significantly appreciate that, Mikey. Um, I actually have some orcs sitting in a shopping cart that I'm kind of waiting on uh, some uh, some Amazon gift cards to get. So your ten dollars is going to go towards those orcs. <laughs> He said orcs or bullywonks, if I recall. What is she doing? That doesn't sound like a good sound. I hear cat noises. Hopefully nothing too bad. I wanted to send a tip for a while. Only noticed the button now working now. Yeah, I, I did have some issues with the button beforehand. Uh, but I went and I fixed that. It had to do with um, me having changed my name on Twitch from Chris BCG to uh, Mellow Minis. So that changed the URL. I greatly appreciate it, but means a lot. And, you know, tips like that help me go and basically pick up uh, new models that people maybe haven't seen before. You know, I can do feedback on things. It helps me do things like uh, make it easier to afford this new camera that I'm recording on. Or streaming on. So, I did not want to take the path of advertisements. Did you hear about how uh, Microsoft purchased Discord? Ugh. really hope that Microsoft doesn't turn Discord into like the new Skype. I mean, Skype was great, don't get me wrong. But I could see them going that direction. I appreciate it, buddy. means the world. Yeah, stuff like that really helps, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm far, far, far too nervous to. Hey, there's that that tip button down there. Like a, a couple of people have found it on their own, but I just I feel very nervous about being like like asking or telling people about it. Like I I, I would I, I don't want to ask. Like my my brain like my absolute like must be 
humble as possible brain is like, no, you're not allowed to ask or tell people about it. And I'm like, okay, I won't. <laughs> I hope they don't touch it. <laughs> Not that extreme, but it's it's certainly like oh oh thank you. It's 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 hard for me. It's really hard for me. All right, so I need to put on shiny metal. Oh wait, nope. I need to do this first. I wasn't raised in a Catholic home, but I was very much raised that, like, pride, kind of a bad thing. Like, like it, it's good to be, to be proud of your stuff, but if you're too proud of it, like, you're, you're a jerk. It was very much how I was raised, so... I want the channel to grow, but at the same time, I'm not... I have a lot of hesitation with certain things that I... Despite the fact I know that they would help. Um, you know. It's just crazy. I don't know if you saw a thing, Ocarina of Time, uh, for one stream. One year stream anniversary... Uh, the music reminded you of it. I think that was Legend of Zelda music. Am I? Oh no, I'm using the wrong <laughs> playlist. That was absolutely an Ocarina of Time song. Ah, ah, heck. Jeez. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this video is gonna get muted. <laughs> this is gonna get muted across the platforms. <laughs> Over in this country, nobody is allowed to be successful. <laughs> Look at that guy with the job. <laughs> Who does he think he is? Yeah. No, I hear you. Whoops. Yep, yeah, exactly. It's just it's big whoops. Oh, big whoopsie. Go. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah, what what can you do about it? Yeah, I think this one's like Studio Ghibli too. You know what, what? The most likely thing that's going to happen is that Twitch is going to be okay with it. Um, YouTube is probably going to be okay with it. 
It's just gonna be Facebook that's gonna be like, we muted your video. And it's like, ah, of course you did. Facebook is always muting me. It's the only platform that actually mutes me. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, to be honest. I get it. Yeah. All right, so I've done that. Now I'm going to do a little bit of this and then that's gonna be it. Oh, need to also put those in there. Just really get those. Right. stuff has like the worst consistency to it. It's very goopy as a paint.
trying to do so many layers of these things. Such a difficult paint to work with, but it is so worth it. Is this a spaceship? No, this is going to be a turret for uh, my tank. Because uh, I have them magnetized. So I'm able to swap the turret on it. So this is also a uh, turret for the same uh, tank. It's exciting. Let's see, what point am I in? I'm at 248. It's very tanky looking though, or uh, very uh, spaceship looking-y. So I totally get where you're coming from on that, uh, but nah. This is going to be um, basically the BFG on my tank. But this is a family-friendly stream, so BFG on the family-friendly stream means big fancy gun. Yep. Nothing else. Nothing else. It means big fancy gun. That's what F stands for. Fancy. Or sometimes, fun. Fun. Or the big friendly gun. No, no, it's not friendly. Guns kill people. Gun, we're, we're not going to humor ourselves. The gun the gun turns people into goo. Fair. The big fair gun. Hmm. I know that's not what you meant, but I'm, I'm considering the big fair gun. Like maybe you get shot with it, and you just your last words are "That's fair," you know, "That's fair," and then you get turned into goo. But yeah, so uh, Mikey, you were mentioning earlier you listened to uh, my playlist. Uh, this is actually, right now, this is the full playlist. The one that you have is actually just for streaming, so I don't get muted. Um, so if you want the link to this one, let me know. Uh, this one's got like Kirby and like Legend of Zelda stuff in it. You know, stuff that would immediately get me muted on Twitch. Yeah, sounds good. You know it, bud. So with that, gonna be calling this quits here. As soon as I just get this stuff here. Boop, come on. There you go, and just boop that some more. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Is the gun perfect? No, no it's not. But we are wrapping up so it's good enough you know good enough is more important than perfect but what has me really excited is this so yeah do you see that might be a little hard to see. Maybe if I, maybe if I go like this, and then so 
It's already really dark or really bright. But if I. No. It's really hard to see. There we go. There we go. They glow. They glow. I have fun with that. All right. Perfect. Let's see here. Who, what day is it today? Wednesday? I think. If she is still online, Giggling Geekette should still be streaming. And I like to raid in on Giggling Geekette. Um, but let's see who else is online. It is nice taking those gloves off. Oh man. Freedom! Oh man. All right. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's raid the geek at. It's a nice, very relaxing stream. All right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me today during the giveaway. Thank you for participating, Mikey. Thank you for your lovely, lovely um, portrait of a dwarf. And with that. I bid you all farewell and adieu, and have a lovely, lovely rest of the